Today I'm going to be taking you guys along on my diaper changing station and our bathroom for daycare and take you along on what my favorite products are and what I use. Sarah here from Work Life Glue where we glue work and life together one piece at a time and I am a child care provider in my home to up to 10 kids, mother of two, wife to a very busy sous chef and we talk all about those kinds of things on our channel. And one big part of our life is daycare and so every Friday I have a daycare day video where I start a conversation about something daycare related. About once a month I like to share my favorite products related to a certain area. I have my favorite outdoor toys, my favorite outdoor products, and now today I'm going to be talking about diapering products and bathroom potty products as well and kind of take you on a tour of what I use, where it goes, and that kind of thing. So we are going to start with my diaper changing area. So right here, this is actually the back of my locker. I will leave a link to my daycare tour so you can kind of see more of the setup, but I don't have a lot of space. And this is our back door over here. You can see the blue curtain over there. And um, we have lockers here that are on the other side is where the kids use them. And then right here, this is sitting on an Ikea cube storage system thing. So I have my diaper changing mat, my the pad, and then the cover. It's wipeable. In Minnesota it has to be wipeable, but I will show you what I also use for that. And then up here is all of the products I use. So they're very easy to reach, but they're out of reach for the kids. Now in Minnesota as well, we can't have diapers within reach, so I have to have everything up high. So I'm just going to take you on a little tour show you what my favorite things are. So like I said, this is my diaper changing pad and cover. I will link to anything in the description below or something similar if they don't make that actual product anymore. And then as for what's up here, first over here I have this Ikea little, I think it's Ikea. Yeah, Ikea. It's the Varira. I have no idea how to pronounce Ikea stuff. Um, little bag storage. I like to keep it right here so if I need it for blowout clothes, pee clothes, a really nasty poopy diaper that's like got so many wipes I can't contain it. I can grab a bag really easily and they're just right here out of reach from the kids. Um, and then I use this three drawer system for a bunch of things. So I have just random pull-ups in here. Um, I have one kid in pull-ups and then just sometimes for nap, I'll throw a pull-up on kid, a kid if they're having trouble staying dry during nap, that kind of thing. They're just in here. Um, here I have disposable changing pads. So instead of wiping down the changing pad cover every single time with wipes that have a lot of like toxins and stuff in them, I, re I switched about a year ago to these disposable pads. And these I got on Amazon. So I will link to these below. But basically... It's like papery on one side and then it's lined with plastic on the back. So I literally just lay it down under the kid's butt, change them, and then I can roll the diaper and all the nastiness up in here, use a bag if I need to, and then I just carry it over to the garbage and I'll show you what I use for that in a little bit. But those are great. Um, we use a lot of reusable things in our home like towels and stuff like that but when it comes to poop and pee and nastiness I just like containing it and then I don't have to be wiping this down with chemicals all the time. I still do often um, and for that I use the Lysol brand too because Minnesota has very strict rules about what it has to kill and everything so that's what I use for this if anything gets on it um, and obviously if it gets nasty I wash it. I also keep my youngest child's backup clothes in here just because I want them in reach. She's only five months old, so I want those close by. And then I also keep like hair supplies in here um, and gloves if it's like really nasty. We don't have to wear gloves for diaper changes. Sometimes I go through phases where I do every time, but I usually forget. So um, I just wash my hands a tremendous amount of times and then use the disposable mats like I showed. Right now I only have two in diapers, so how I do it is every kid in diapers gets a little bin and if I had more kids in diapers I'd have more over here and just push all this stuff down. Um, but here I have my daughter's 
diapers and then my daycare baby's diapers and then I keep extra diapers in the bathroom um, and in our laundry room labeled so that I know whose are whose but this is just like um, you know I restock it when it runs low and that way I can easily reach it and then if they have any kind of um, stuff they need I put it in here too so my baby I have her diaper paste um, and she has some medications and things for eczema that we use sometimes so those are in there because I would put those on her body while I'm changing her over here I just have some paper towels my Lysol wipes and then coconut oil I also use this on my baby but I use gloves when I use it so I could use it on any child um, but it's great for a diaper cream or for their skin or whatever you need it for and then over here, I just have this other little one. It's got a little post-it note to pray. I have those all over my house to help me remember to pray. But I just keep lotions, hand sanitizer, that kind of thing. I have like an eczema one, um, Eucerin, Aquaphor. We went through a lot of lotions when we realized our youngest has had pretty severe eczema for a while. We have um, petroleum jelly and then hand sanitizer and Vanna cream. So... Those are all in here, and then I just have wipes. I just use the Target Unscented Baby Wipes. We use them all over the house. We use them after we eat. Obviously, those aren't ones we use on our butt, so they're not getting, like, grossness on them. Um, those are up in the kitchen. We use them, you know, here for diaper changes, and after we paint, we sometimes will wipe our hands or we'll go wash them, that kind of thing. So... This is my diaper changing area and system. Also down here, like I said, I have a bin system. Most of these are nap bins for the kids, but in this one right here, I have my baby's pajamas and some backup clothes. So if she blows out, I can easily change her. And then when we get her ready for bed, we put her jammies on right here. And then I also have like sleep sacks, which are currently in the wash. But if um, both my babies use a sleep sack when they go to sleep, so I just keep those in here so I can easily get them ready for nap while right after I change them, and then they're more likely to stay on the mat and stay laying down, especially my 11-month-old who's very squirmy. If we change her on the floor, she tries to crawl everywhere, but if we change her on here, she knows like not to try to crawl off, at least so far, so that's where I keep those as well. Okay, so moving on to our bathroom, our daycare bathroom, and where I throw diapers away. So, I used to use a diaper genie. I recently got rid of it because, first of all, I stopped using the bags for it because they get so expensive. And when you're changing the garbage for your diapers every single day, it gets to be very expensive. And I was even just using the Target brand. And so I just felt like it was just a waste of money. So then I started using just kind of rigging it to use a bag, a garbage bag that you kind of like stick in the little round thing for the diaper genie. But that just was cumbersome and they didn't go down well enough. Then I'd have like diapers not sinking down. It was stinking up everything. So I just got rid of it because I was sick of it. I think they're great if you don't have to change them every single day. Um, and they are great for keeping the smells down. But what I recently just changed to is in this closet right by the bathroom. It's away from the kids. Um, they're gated off most of the time in the daycare room. But I just have this little garbage from Target. It's little, it, it opens here. I actually just use my foot to do it. Usually I just put my house slippers on, but I just do one of these, throw the diaper in, I can shut it. It also locks, which is great, although they can't get in there. Um, and I'm changing it daily so it doesn't stink a lot. I could also throw like a baking soda thing in there if it became an issue. But because it's in this closet, it really doesn't stink. Um, and I change it so often that it's not a big deal. Also, if we're going outside pretty soon, I will sometimes just throw the poopy diapers in a plastic bag, set it outside the door, and then run it out to my garbage when we're outside. That's another option as well, so it's not stinking up your house. Okay, so moving into the bathroom. This is our bathroom we use for daycare. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. We live in a 70s house with 70s bathrooms, but it does what it needs to do. So I'm just going to show you guys what I use. So um, when it comes to hand washing, where I live in Minnesota, we either have to use paper towels after they have washed their hands or 
single service towels, I think is what how they phrase it in the rules. So I bought a ton of washcloths at Walmart. They have the different colored packs. They're only a couple bucks for like an 18 pack, I think it is. And I bought quite a few of those. Um, and we use those all over the house for cleaning, like the tables and the surfaces in the kitchen, um, the sinks in the bathroom, that kind of thing. Nothing really nasty, but we just use them for that kind of stuff. And then two or three times a week, I run them through the wash and I bleach them. So they are just in this little Dollar Tree thing on the sink, like so. So they just sit here, the kids wash their hands, get their soap, wash, turn it off, and then grab a towel. After they grab their towel, they come over here and dump it in this other Dollar Tree little basket. And then like I said, two to three times a week, I take that to the wash. Um, I still need to do that because it's getting full now. Right above the sink, I have this little reminder of washing our hands. I will link to that below. I believe it was free. So there's that. And then I also have this little printable right above the toilet paper laminated so I can clean it. Both of the signs are laminated so I can clean them. Um, and that was also free as well. So I will link to that as well. And then I'll just kind of show you guys like an overview of this part. We have this little ledge here. So I keep in this, I keep extra towel so when that is empty I can just grab and put more like I said we have a bazillion towels in this house and then I keep the backup diapers most of them that if I have any more surplus they go into the laundry room um, pull-ups my daughter's diapers the baby's diapers and those are all right here if I need more and then when it comes to cleaning in here I use Clorox wipes for the toilet as well as the Lysol wipes um, just because it's easier and I know it's killing everything. And then I really love these Clorox, um, instead of using like a toilet brush, it's this wand and then inside are these little things that have the product already in them. So you just stick this on to one of these and then you can clean your toilet bowl and then just throw it away. Um, I really like that just for, so I don't have to have a brush sitting on the floor that's gross that the kids could potentially get into and it's up here so they can't get into any of this. They can't reach it, so that's great too. And then I keep all my backup soaps and those things way up high that I can't even reach without a stool. So those are there. Okay, I feel really weird showing my open toilet on camera, but this is the toilet and I'm showing you this because I want to talk about this toilet seat. So it's got a kid seat built in and then you just lift that up and it's a regular like adult size seat. I switched this a couple years ago after having the actual kid seat that you set on top. I just found it to be get to get gross really easily. And I didn't like that the kids were touching it before and after going potty and then setting it either on the floor or on a hook. I just felt like the grossness was traveling around the bathroom too much. And it was just kind of a hassle, especially for those who are potty training. It's one extra step I didn't want them to have to have. So this is by this brand Summer. Um, and it it's all built in as one. Now it is plastic, so it's not like the nicest toilet seat you've ever sat on. But I just love the convenience. Um, it is a little funny when people come over that I have to tell them like it's got a kid seat so make sure you lift it two times um, But it just works great, and it's just so easy to clean Works really well the kids love it, and it does what it needs to do And the only other thing I have in here to show you guys is just my stool I use like the two-step stool it allows most of the kids to be able to reach um, the faucet especially once they're potty training age and it's light enough for them to move around. I did have a wooden one in here when I first opened and it was just too heavy so they can move it and use it for both the toilet and the sink because this is not a very big bathroom at all so I needed something they could easily move around. Well guys I hope you enjoyed that sneak peek into kind of the nastier part of this job. Um, if there's anything else that you use that has really saved you time, money, stress, or just been really awesome for you, please leave it in the comments. Like I always say, I like to start the conversation. I'm no child care expert. I just share what I do. And so if you guys have extra things to share, make sure you leave it in the comments. I have amazing glue sticks here who love to share and help each other out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.